Hi viewers, welcome to the next YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of base plate in Tecla structures with this PDF example. If you need this PDF example, please join my channel and take a screenshot and send to my email address. I will provide my email address in description. Please send it. I will provide this PDF example through email. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures 2025 version. Before going to open, you need to cross verify. You should connect to the internet. And the environment we're going to take US and the Imperial we're going to take steel Imperial steel detailing and uh, click on OK. Now click on new and uh, let's take Tecla tutorial 4 and uh, and select a single user and the template. Let's select steel detailing and click on create. Click on OK and uh, click on S. Yes and select this 3D and click on this arrow to open 3D view in the background and close it. Now coming to our example, we have this example. You can see this is the column with W16 by 57 US standard uh, column size and I section profile. And we have the type of base plate like this. Now we're going to create grids. We have only single one column, so double click on this grid. We're going to create only one grid we require. So delete this one and zero. And let's take zero and the top level. In our example, we have 15 feet. So let's take here 15 feet. And remove remaining values. And similarly, we're going to take here only one. And here all the A, A grid and Z level and top level will have 0 and 15 feet. We don't require this remaining values. So delete and then click on modify and close it. Click on space, right click on mouse, fit work area to enter model to set the work area like this. Okay, now I want to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Now click on create and OK. Now have views here and go to the plan view this is the plan view and click on window and select here 3d use the control tab to switch the views 3 to plan view you can check the names here you can see planet zero and planet here is the 3d view like this and you can also check here currently we are in 3d view active view here once you click on control tab you can see control tab you'll get the active view here you can also directly switch from here Click on window and select this 3D and plan view like this. Okay, now we're going to create column here. In our example, we have column W16 by 57. So click on here, click on steel and select this column and uh, zoom here and click on here to at gradient section point. Click on here to place the column like this. Right click on mouse, interact to exit the command. All now we're going to edit this column according to our example. So double click on this column to open column property window like this. Now by default, we have W16 by 50, but in our example, we have W16 by 57. So we're going to change here. So click on here, three dot profile catalog, and we we'll need to select here W16 by 57 and click on apply. Okay. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see by default, we have here W16 by 50. So click on modify to see the result. You can see we have W16 by 57. Now coming to the height, bottom level we have 0 and top level we have 15 feet. So coming to the top level, we need to enter here 15 feet and bottom level 0 and click on modify to see the result here. You can see now height also updated. Now coming to close this window. If you want to rotate this column, you can rotate from here. Double click on this column to open the column property window. And uh, under the rotation option, you can select here top to rotate like this. Uh, you can directly select from here. Uh, and uh, if you have any certain angle, you can directly type here, for example, 45 degrees. Then click on modify to rotate 45 degrees like this. You can see from top level, you can see like this. If you want to rotate uh, in in the zero, make it make it zero like this and Let's take here like this. Okay. 
this is 3D and uh, this is the plan view. In plan also, if you rotate like this to get the 2D view, you need to use the shortcut control P to get 2D view. And by default, we have also 3D view like this. Use the control and the mouse middle button or scroll button to rotate like this. And use the option control R and pick the rotation point here exactly at the center of the gradient section point to rotate smoothly in 3D model like this and as you mouse interrupt. If you have any doubts, please comment below. I will respond to your comments as soon as possible. Now coming to the base plate. Now we're going to create a base plate according to our design information we have like this. So go to the application components by using the shortcut control F or you can also directly click on here to open application component window and in search bar click on here and type base plate. Now scroll it down and according to our example we need to select this uh, component this uh, stiffener base plate 1014 and you can see in the command bar it asking pick the part you need to select the column first now pick the position means gradient section point click on here to place the base plate now close this window right click mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view. you can see by default we have base plate like this now we're going to change this base plate according to our design information like this so double click on this base plate to open base plate component property window now go to the parts in parts we need to change the thickness of this base plate in our example we have thickness of this base plate to half inch so we're going to take here half inch one by two now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this thickness should be half inch now go to the bolts tab in bolts we're going to change the bolt size according to our example in our example we have bolt anchor rod size is three by four inch so need to select here three by four inch anchor rod and tallest by default we're going to take one by eight means the two by sixteen now click on modify to see the result now go to the bolt step anchor step in anchors by default we have three by four inch so leave it like this if you want to change just type here according to design information you can type here for example let's take half inch like this now by default we have three by four inch so take three by four inch apply okay now in our example we don't have any grout so in the grout option make it zero and click on modify to see the result in our example we have l-bend anchor so we need to change this type of anchor so click on here and select l-bend and click on modify now coming to the anchor uh, design we don't have any anchor design in in this drawing so we leave it with the default anchors dimension like this so now coming to here in our example we don't have bottom bolt for this anchor so make it here this bolt bottom bolt no option in the box and click on modify to see the result like this okay now coming to the number of bolts and spacings according to our design information now go to bolt tab and here you can see this is the eye profile this is the web of this column and this is the length of this base plate and this is the width of this base plate now we need to enter the values according to this design information you can see this is the length of this base plate in the length wise we have edge distance which is the two inches so we need to enter here lengthwise edge distance two inches on both sides click on modify now this small box indicates the number of columns you can see in this number of columns along the length of this base plate we have one two three four four columns so we need to enter here four and the spacing between the columns we have the bolts you can see from first bolt to second bolt we have five inch next ten next five so we need to enter in the same sequence five next ten and five by default it will take inches so no need to enter here inches symbols so directly type 5 10 5 inches with the spacing now click on modify to see the result you need to select this base weight once once mm, there is no changes in this update update in this there is no change changes appears in this base plate you need to select this base plate then click on modify to see the result like this
Now coming to in the width side, you can see we have edge distance to and of inch. So enter here 2.5 inch on both sides in the width side of this base plate. Now number of number of uh, rows in this direction we have one and two. So we need to enter here two and the spacing between the bolts we have five inches. So we need to enter here five inches. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see. Now have two and a half and five and two and a half inch like this. Now coming to the stiffeners, in our example, we have stiffeners uh, of this column. You can see here to the flanges and to the web also, we have stiffeners and with the uh, stiffener size, we have one by four inch. So we're going to uh, create the stiffeners uh, to the web of this column and to the flanges also. So go to the stiffeners tab. In stiffeners, first of all, we need to select here the flange stiffeners so click on modify to see the result you can see this is the flange stiffeners we're going to enter the values for this stiffener so height of this stiffener in our example we have six inches so we need to enter here six inches now coming to click on modify now coming to here now in our example we have the stiffener up to the edge of this base plate so <coughs> so we're going to measure this uh, spacing so click on here and select this plan view click on space right click on most view once uh, to get clear view now close this window once again otherwise you can move bottom side and uh, go to the dimensions tab go to edit and select this measure and select this vertical distance from flange to edge of this base plate we have three inch 13 by 16 so we're going to enter here 3 inch 3 inch 12 by 16 now we're going to reduce 1 by 16 inch inside so click on modify to see the result there is no changes then you need to what you need to do just to select this base plate or component symbol then click on modify to the, see the result you can see like this now coming to this web website stiffeners and another we need to enter this value chamfer value in our example we have chamfer value two inches on both side of this edge so enter here two inches and click on modify now this should be two inches on both side now coming to this chamfer by default we're going to take one by eight inch so type here one by eight inch there is no value in the design so we're going to by default value one by eight inch you can see there is no information for this chamfer so let's take default one by eight inch then click on modify to see the result like this now coming to this web stiffener you need to select here and select this web stiffeners now click on modify to see the result now type the height of the stiffener should be six inches and now coming to this distance go to the plan view now we're going to measure this distance so go to the measure and select this horizontal distance from this edge to base plate edge we have four four inch 13 by 16 so we're going to take here four inch 12 by 16 now click on modify to see the result You can see you'll get like this now go to the 3d view like this i'm going to enter the chamfer value by default we have two inches on both side and uh, this bottom chamfer value we have one by eight inch by default we're going to take one by eight inch then click on modify to the see see the result here modify it now click on modify apply okay now coming to this stiffener thickness in our example we have stiffener thickness one by four inch so we're going to uh, change this stiffener thickness value so go to the parts tab in parts uh, this for this stiffener thickness we need to enter here one by four inch click on modify to see the result here now this thickness should be one by four inch now coming to this thickness stiffener we're going to enter here horizontal plate and one by four inch then click on modify you can see this thickness should be one by four inch 
Now click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, red comma, street view. You can see, you will get like this. Now coming to, we are going to measure these spacings. So go to the plan view. Like this. Now we are to measure these dimensions. Now go to the measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point, next point here, from this bolt to this bolt, from this bolt to this bolt, we have 10 inch, 5 and edge distance 2 inch. Now coming to horizontal distance, pick the first point and second point at the center of this bolt, from bolt to bolt and bolt to edge, like this. You can see now we're going to class verify these dimensions with a example. You can see 2, 5, 10, 5, 2. 2, 5, 10, 5, 2. Now coming to the edge distance here, 2 and half, 5, 2 and half. 2 and half, 5, 2 and half. Okay, that's okay. Now coming to this thickness of the stiffeners, we're going to measure horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the thickness 1 by 4 inch. In our example, we have 1 by 4 inch. Now coming to check this thickness also. So vertical distance from here to here, we have 1 by 4 inch like this. Now coming to the thickness of this base plate, we're going to check in the elevation view. So let's take elevation along grade 1. Elevation, go to click on here view list and select this elevation on grid 1. Click on this arrow to open the elevation view like this. I'm going to check this thickness, so measure and select this vertical distance from here to here. We have half inch from here to here, we have six inches like this. Now coming to check this chamfer value also, so set this horizontal distance from here and now coming to vertical distance from here to here, we have two inch. Okay. Now, total overall length of this column should be 15 feet. So, we're going to measure here vertical distance from bottom of this base plate to top of this column. That should be 15 feet, like this. Now, go to 3D view. These are the checking dimensions. Once you check the dimensions, you can erase these dimensions. Click on space, ready can mouse, read view. Similarly, in the plan also, you can remove this dimension, checking dimension, click on space, red columns, 3 draw view. Now, go to the 3D view, you can see, like this. Okay, that's it about how to create this type of base plate in Tecla structures with this PDF example. If you require this PDF example, please join my channel and take a screenshot and send to my email address. I will provide this my email address in the description and please send it to my email address and which tutorial PDF you require, please type there. This is the tutorial for and the Tecla Structures 2025 version. And please uh, uh, type the title of this video and required PDF. Then I will send to your email address directly. Okay. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla Structure related videos, please go to my channel, Gany SK YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you.